I'm Lucas Siegel from comicbook.com here with Jim Krieg, who is writer and producer on Justice League Action. Jim, uh, you have played with, uh, much, much like your other producers, you've played with these DC characters in so many different ways, in so many different angles. Uh, what is fun about getting to explore them from all of these different takes? Uh, it's, it always makes it new, it always makes it fresh. Like I've, I've just uh, come from doing a lot of um, uh, Justice League Lego projects, and for, for example, uh, these characters will be much taller, and they won't be made of plastic. <laughs> Uh, and they they won't use little studs. Except Plastic Man. Plastic, but what, is he made of plastic? <laughs> like, like when I think of stretching plastic, I, I, I it, like you have to heat it up, and I and you smell the fumes. I don't know if like is he really plastic, but he's certainly malleable in this, and uh, and really funny. He's played by uh, Dana Snyder who is a tour de force of comedy in this. You know, and Plastic Man is always funny, but he's a really, really, really funny. Plastic Man. So what are, what don't are, miss those. What are some of the other characters that uh, that you're getting to play with here that you really haven't gotten to before? Um, oh well, a ton of them. Um, Star Girl is in this, and she's she's like uh, you know we haven't seen her before. I mean, obviously you've seen her in the comics, but she's she's like such a uh, she's a young girl and she's innocent and she's new to the group. I bet Jeff Johns was really excited that you guys were bringing Star Girl. I I hope so because I because I, I, I because it, you know there are elements of the show that are comedy and I don't want to be disrespectful to the character in any way. Um, uh, but she is she is young and she and everything is new to her. So she, she, her eyes are kind of getting opened in, in these adventures. Um, and uh, we have a great Firestorm and we have uh, a Green Arrow. Uh, played by I mean, no Mangle's last name, Chris Dimitopoulos, who's so funny. Uh, I, I, I wish I could just list all the actors and all the, um, the characters, but but it's like a blank, and and now all I hear is their voices saying, "Why didn't you mention me? <laughs> What's wrong?" <laughs> uh, of course, we also have the returning characters, like you, you know these these little actors named Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill. You know what is a surprise about Kevin is that, uh, and you want. Because I've listened to his voice for a long time and a lot of different projects. 25 years this year. Um, so sometimes you mistake the actor for the character, and so you hear that voice and you go, uh-oh, it's Batman, I better be serious. And, uh, we, and it's not like we've made a wacky Batman. There's By no means is he wacky, but he has jokes. They're super dry, and he is in heaven when he does these jokes. And like, I think we come to him and say, is it okay if we do this? And he, he's like, oh my gosh, this is great, I can't wait. Uh, so hopefully the audience will understand that we're being totally respectful of the characters, but they do. We ha we've we've opened up the floodgates a little bit to let them do something a little more funny. So for the fans that you know are the Batman animated series and Justice League and Young Justice fans uh, that are maybe a little concerned about this 11-minute format and the the fact that they associate that 11-minute format with the really over-the-top zaniness of Teen Titans Go. Uh, what can you say to kind of assuage that and, and let them know really where you're approaching this? From? I was just going to say the word assuage, and you stole that from me. <laughs> and now my brain is going, what, what's the synonym for assuage? <laughs> and there is none. Uh, I, 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 you can relax. It's not, first of all, I love Teen Titans Go. And, and Michael and Aaron do a great job on that show. But this is a very different show. The, the Jeopardy is real. The action is is heightened, it's real action, they're in actual danger, but they're, most episodes do have a ridiculous moment or something funny about it. But, but Alan Burnett is on the show, uh, Butch Lukic is on the show, these are all people who, who have been either with, with JLU or, uh, or, or BTAS, and so the respect for these characters is there. Even me, who weren't on either, wasn't on either of those shows. I have a respect for these characters. But they do, um, so we're just kind of like taking their characters and pushing them just enough so that they can do a little bit of comedy, but still deliver all the adventure that we want to see. So are we- are, the longest sentence ever. <laughs> like no one should ever transcribe this interview. <laughs> are, are we trying to make BTAS a thing, is that? So someone I, I didn't make I uh, yes it's it's Batman the animated series but someone over at work they keep saying BTAS even really? even uh, even Bruce does he says BTAS so I'm like if Bruce uh, if Bruce, uh, Bruce Tim says BTAS I say BTAS absolutely all Cause, right because he is Batman <laughs> essentially yeah. he is all right thank you very much Jim hey, thank, thank you. you keep watching comicbook.com for more about Justice League action yes please.